you're welcome to uh, the University of Cambodia as well as to the very room that we indicate name after Indian, which was uh, launched officially by uh, Ambassador Srivastava. Uh, we observe the uh, culture and the uh, tradition similarity and uh, we decorate the room with the help of the Indian Embassy to preserve this room as the Indian room. On behalf of the uh, President of the University as well as on behalf of PSS, uh, we, we would like to extend to you our warm welcome and uh, appreciation for your time and uh, your dedication to explain to our youngster of the uh, scholarship system and so, so scholarship awards uh, offered by the government of India, including the uh, uh, ICGR uh, scholarship for uh, the students. Uh, as you discussed with us, that uh, we don't want the event to be very formal, straightforward, with straight tie and so on, so we make it very informal and very interactive. And I believe that uh, our students will ask you questions. Anyone who find it difficult in asking in English, you can ask in Khmer, and uh, we can help you to uh, get the understanding from the uh, Mr. Uh, I hope the uh, event today will help our youngster to understand the importance of the scholarship as well as the offer that, that made by the government here in the, the uh, attempt to assist Cambodian building up its uh, quality, uh, qualification for its uh, youngster to uh, ask a contribution to the development of the society as well as the country. Uh, as you all know that uh, Cambodia and India, we have a very long uh, relationship since the Kandanya, uh, King uh, Kandanya uh, during the uh, Punon uh, and uh, Jaina and even the, the culture are very influenced on each other. That is why uh, the region called the uh, Indochina region because uh, most of these uh, three or four countries uh, in the Southeast Asia, uh, received the cultural influence, the cultural influence from India and the food and flow uh, mixed up with the China, that's why we call Indochina as a whole. But uh, the religion and the language and everything uh, mostly uh, very uh, inclined to towards uh, Indian cultures and then you uh, take uh, Buddhism and uh, Hinduism as well as all other beliefs and then even the language is from Sanskrit and Pali which is one of the, uh, uh, from the Palian language uh, from uh, southern part of India. But without further ado of work, uh, looking back into the history, uh, I want to preserve more time for the explanation and the question and answer from the students. So without further ado, I would like to invite you to uh, have a word uh, explaining on the scholarship, the uh, Indian scholarship offer to the Cambodian students. Mr. Mishra, please. Good afternoon, everyone. So, Mirzo. I hope I pronounce it correctly. <laughs> After one, one and a half year of my stay in Cambodia. Uh, today we are here again, like last year, just five days later than the day we came here last year. Last year we came here on 5th of January. And at the same day we had announced our scholarship schemes. And this year again we have uh, published uh, details of scholarships in newspapers on 4th of uh, January. Already many of you may have seen. So as uh, Excellency, uh, first of all, I would like to thank Excellency and the University for, uh, for giving us the opportunity to be here and uh, let all of you know the details of this scheme. 
and also to highlight uh, relationship between India and Cambodia that I believe must be highlighted on every opportunity, especially among the youth uh, of uh, either India or Cambodia or what. So that uh, you know our this, uh, relationship strengthens with passage of time, with the passing of every generation. So with this, uh, and uh, Excellency has already uh, uh, highlighted certain aspects of our old relationship, like beginning from Kondinya, as per mythology, uh, Kondinya is a Brahmin uh, king from India. Uh, came to Cambodia and married uh, uh, queen of uh, Cambodia and this is how Khmer race came into existence. So I think Cambodians firmly believe in this and uh, which is a good uh, indicator of our old uh, uh, strong uh, cultural uh, and historical relationship. And that is I think around 2000 years back, if I am correct, around first century so, and uh, I would like to keep this session very informal uh, because uh, from the experience that I have uh, learned during the last one and a half year that uh, if it is formal then it's uh, not that beneficial as it could be if we keep it uh, informal and uh, all of you feel comfortable in asking questions, expressing your doubts and sharing your experience. So with this, uh, I would uh, I would like to begin uh, with the PowerPoint presentation so that we move on with the, uh, we focus on different aspects of the scholarship. Uh, with uh, with me, uh, uh, I have Mr. Chun Chol. He is uh, official in our embassy, my colleague. He handles education. And uh, it's good that he has been to India. He has availed his scholarship. He was in India for a few years. Then he came to Cambodia, worked in some other organization. Now he is with us. And after I have spoken, I will request him to come and talk, share his experience in Khmer, uh, so that you have the real, actual knowledge of the land of India, of the scholarship scheme, facilities, and quality of education. So let me begin uh, slightly formally. Why, why India? Uh, everything is written there. Why India? India has been a very stable country for several decades, if not centuries. And uh, economic growth has been very steady. Like, like in Cambodia these days, you, you people witness that the economic growth is very, very good, very fast and uh, consistent. Same way India has been maintaining economic growth. And uh, Consistent and rapid economic growth is indicator of uh, uh, indicator of uh, favorable conditions in a country. In all aspects of life, economy, policy, quality. So that we have uh, we have been maintaining very good growth for all these uh, uh, several years, decades. India is a very huge country in terms of area. I'm not sure, but uh, if I could guess correctly, it should be around 20 to 25 times bigger, bigger than Cambodia, sixth or seventh in the, in the world in terms of economy. Uh, we have all the uh, multinational companies, reputed companies, uh, who have their manufacturing hubs in India, and recently to encourage uh, foreign companies, big companies, to come to India. Uh, our government launched uh, uh, Make in India program. Under Make in India, many companies are being provided uh, additional facilities. They are being, things are being facilitated for them to establish their ventures in India. We have manpower, land, other resources, uh, good infrastructure, so that they are encouraged to come to India and establish it. So while you are in India, you, you all have the opportunity to visit those places, see how they are working and explore possibilities for you, for your future. Diverse culture, as Excellency already highlighted certain uh, aspects about uh, our cultural relation. Uh, I will come to that later, but diverse culture means so many culture in a single country. That is the unique identity of India. 
I have been to many countries. Uh, this is in terms of uh, hosting. I am here. This is my fifth uh, country. And uh, only after I left India, I realized why we are so diverse. Why we are all so diverse. We are considered so diverse. Diverse culture, like uh, in terms of uh, food we eat. You go to different part of the country, and food habits are different. Material we consume are different. Languages, countless languages we have. The way we, uh, the clothes we wear, that is different in different part of the uh, country. So we have very diverse con uh, culture, and uh, once you are there, you have the opportunity to explore culture of the country. As far as cultural relation is concerned, Angkor Wat is very uh, great example of our uh, cultural connect. Which was initially built as a uh, Vishnu temple, Hindu temple. Basically, uh, earlier Khmer rulers were Hindus, later they converted to uh, uh, Buddhism, and Buddhism sustained ultimately. Now, this is predominantly a Buddhism country. So, this is our connection, like this is a live example of our, our old connection that was established by uh, arrival of uh, founding. And one very important example that I, I was surprised actually when I had the opportunity to go to a pagoda to attend Chumban festival. That was the first time I think that I met the Excellency and, and his wife, Excellency Sophia. So for me it was very surprising to know that uh, this resembles with our Pitripach. Uh, like 15 days for our ancestors in English we can say. Paksh means 15 days. So it resembles uh, uh, in every aspect, like the timing when we celebrate. It was the same time we, we were having uh, Petripax for 15 days, and here uh, you were celebrating uh, Chumban festival. Same thing we do, we offer food and offerings to our ancestors. We believe that they, they come and they accept our offerings. So this is one example of our very close, very deep uh, cultural and religious practices. So there are so many, I mean, if I start keep on talking on that, it will take many hours to uh, explain about them and let you know. And I believe all of you should have the curiosity to, to understand, to learn the cultural relation, the origin of different practices in Buddhism, in your life, and you will come to know how closely we are connected, how closely we are, we are connected. I feel at home, being here, I feel at home. I never felt as I am out of India. I have been to many developed places, developed countries, but the comfort, the happiness I, I feel I have in being here is uh, unique. I never had the same feeling in any other country. Okay, next. Okay. Uh, why study in India? Uh, since sentient times, we are a uh, seat of education. We had excellent university when there were hardly uh, educational institutions in different parts of the world. We had Takshila, which is now in uh, Pakistan, which used to be part of India before 1947. Uh, we had Nalanda during the 4th century, which was later destroyed by invaders, but it was built and rebuilt. And now we have a new Nalanda, like uh, Nalanda University. It's like uh, we having the same, same system or same uh, same features of the, like reviving our old uh, heritage, our old memory, old culture. These days, uh, from all over the world, many students come to India for higher education, for graduation, uh, for master's degree, bachelor's degree, PhD, from many countries, from Asian countries, African countries, even from Europe. From this part of the world, there are many. In almost every university, you will see a few students from from different countries. Highly effective Indian education system is high. It's very rigorous. Let me tell you, Indian education is very rigorous. And uh, once you pass, uh, once you complete your degree in India, I'm sure that you are one of the most competent uh, person in terms of the knowledge you have you have acquired. After 
and English is the common language of education at higher, the higher level in graduation, bachelor's or master's degree. So language is not an issue like in some countries the it's their own language in which they impart education. But in India, this is the most common language. English is everywhere. So language is not at all an issue. And it's very low cost. World class education is provided at a very low cost in India. So low cost means it will attract uh, students if they are not able to get the scholarship because we have limited number of scholarship. But uh, still, if you are not selected in scholarship, still you can, you can think of uh, pursuing your higher studies in India because it's very low cost. Lower than the cost here, I believe. This is my understanding that the cost of education at higher level for post graduation for PhD, uh, the cost is lower than what we what you, you have to uh, spend here in Cambodia. And also government encourages, ICCR government encourages to pursue, to apply for higher uh, like post graduation and PhD degrees. For graduation for bachelor you are most welcome. But to get the best benefit of the scholarship, those who have to pursue uh, post graduation and PhD, they must consider to apply for the scholarship. Next, please. Benefits of studying in India. We have almost all fields in which you can pursue your education at higher level. We have IITs, Indian Institute of Technologies, world famous, Indian Institute of Science, Indian Institute of Management, many NITs, National Institute of Technologies, and uh, many universities, like a lot of, a number of universities, and many colleges, in, in thousands, many colleges. So you have a wide range of institutions to consider for getting admission. Not only number of institutions, number of courses, even the region, the area you can choose. That okay, you want to be in south of India, then you cannot choose one of the universities in that region. You want to be in Delhi, you can choose a few universities in Delhi or nearby areas. So you have wide range, range of uh, options to select for university, for college, for course, and the region where you want to stay and pursue uh, your higher education. We have many unique courses which you will not find anywhere else, like yoga. I have seen yoga is very popular here. Yoga is very popular and uh, in, in the almost every high rise building there are gyms where Regularly yoga classes are conducted, many gyms here, so people are very health conscious and they many prefer yoga. Uh, and yoga was originated in India, Patanjali Yoga Sutra, very old book written by one Rishi, one sage in India. And the same practices we are continuing and now we realize that yoga uh, is how important for, for our uh, health. So you can pursue yoga, Ayurveda also is there if somebody is interested in learning Hindi, Hindi language is there. Sanskrit, I am aware that uh, Sanskrit is well known here by Cambodians and uh, this Khmer language originated from Sanskrit. Like many Indian languages uh, originated from Sanskrit. And I am told that around 3600 words are common in Sanskrit and Khmer. In Sanskrit, the word has same meaning and in Khmer, the same word has the same meaning. So this is another uh, uh, deep connection between India and linguistic connection between India and Cambodia. Okay, next. I will briefly tell you about uh, system, Indian education system. In India, after your schooling, like your high school diploma or high school or your 12, in India generally we call intermediate in some courts and our grade 12, class 12. After 12, we have undergraduate degree, which you call bachelor's commonly. This degree is generally for three, mostly for three. 
So after three years, you get undergraduate degree. You, you get a degree after three years that you are now undergraduate in this stream or, or in this subject. Some of the undergraduate degrees are five years integrated. Where after five years you get like post graduation. But at the three year, after completion of three years, you don't get anything. So it's sort of integrated course, graduation as well as post graduation. Some degrees are four year, mostly uh, engineering. It will take around four year, four to four and a half years. After that, you can consider getting admission in post graduation. Post graduation is generally two years, two to three years. Then doctoral studies and research depends on the field and the way you do your research. It may take three, four, five, six years like this. More than 17,000 colleges, 20 central universities. Central universities are those which are administered, governed by central government. Then we have state universities. We have uh, these state universities in different, different states. These are governed by states. Quality of education is almost the same. Good quality of education in all of our universities. The deemed universities, they are recognized as universities run by private individuals, organizations. And institutes, institutes of national importance, like I told you, NIT, uh, IITs, uh, these are the institutes uh, of national, national institutes. Next, please. Where can I study? I already told you, depending on your choice. In, in which university, in which area, for which course you want to take admission, you can get admission in, in any of the universities in, in India. For a scholarship, these universities are listed on the portal. I will come to that later. Uh, then, in almost all universities, we have international offices where you can establish contact. If you have any query, if you want any help, alternatively, we are here. You can contact our uh, Embassy of India, you can contact me directly or Mr. Chow. If you think that you will not be comfortable in English or with me, you can contact Mr. Chow. He handles education and you can interact in Khmer language. Then, uh, there are certain seats reserved for foreign students in almost all universities. So invariably there are foreign students in every university almost. Then we have scholarship schemes. Next please. Uh, this is one issue which is I think very important uh, and we need to discuss accommodation like where you will stay. This is primary concern. Even for me, this is a concern. Whenever I have to go to another country on posting, this is the first thing comes to mind, where I will be living, where I will be getting accommodation. So I can well understand for students who are going in their teens at an early age, this certainly is a concern. And uh, I want to let all of you know that almost all universities have hostel facilities. Hostels are within the periphery of the university, within the campus. And those who will go under the scholarship scheme, they must have to stay in the hostel. They are not allowed to live outside the hostel. So in India, if you get admission under the scholarship scheme, you will certainly be provided a room in the hostel. So on this account, you will not marry. You will get a hostel. Once you get admission, you reach India, you will be picked up at the airport, you will be taken to the university, and the first thing, uh, will, uh, the first thing that will be arranged for you is the hostel, and the rest of the formal admission will be conducted. So that's not at all an issue, not only uh, not only for for uh, boys, for girls, for everybody. I mean, on this account, you need not worry. You are very safe. You are within the campus. And so I have seen that certain uh, some people raise this uh, doubt that there are some, some security issues, safety issues. That's not, it's not like that. And even uh, we have seen some, some uh, negative media coverage. Many good things are happening in India. It's very uh, rapidly, it's growing. 
So there is no such issue like accommodation or safety or security. If you are not uh, given uh, accommodation, if you directly approach university, get admission on self-financing basis, then around the university, even then you may get hostel. But if you don't get hostel around the university, there are many uh, arrangements, private uh, organizations, people make hostels and these facilities are there, where you will find students only. It's again like hostel only, and many are even uh, with PG facilities. Like you, you get not only the room, you are provided with uh, lunch, dinner, breakfast, and everything. Okay, now let me come to the point for which we are primarily here. Government of India every year uh, gives 25 slots for the scholarship and the rich scholarship scheme for Cambodian students. These scholarships are available for bachelor's degree, those who are completing 12th can apply. I, I understand everybody here is doing graduation or post graduation. So you have to focus on post graduation as well as uh, entry or DSC. So you can apply for any course of your choice under the scholarship scheme. All courses are covered except medical. You cannot apply for medical. That should be very clear. You can apply for engineering, for humanities, economics, arts, whatever field you like. But for medical courses, you cannot apply under this course. And of course, you will not find uh, any university or college offering medical courses. As only those universities and colleges are available on the portal, which offer courses under the scholarship. When you apply, you can apply now. <laughs> <laughs> like we have already launched this, we have already publicized. In the newspaper on the non bank post in Khmer and English, it has appeared on, on 4th of, uh, 4th of this month. We have also published on our Facebook, uh, on our uh, um, embassy website. You can uh, Visit the website, you can register and you can apply for the course. You need not worry if you are pursuing your final year of graduation or post graduation, you need not worry. You have to just attach undertaking that okay, you will get your degree uh, in the month of June or July or any time and then you can apply. So some students uh, have doubt that okay, if they have not completed their qualifying degree, like for post graduation, if they have not yet completed graduation then how they can apply. So no problem. If you are in your last semester, last year, and you expect that you will complete your degree by, by June or July, May, June or July, you can apply. You will be considered on the basis of your previous uh, performance, previous marks, yes. This year, last date of application is 15 February. So you need to apply before 15th of February. You have to visit the website, register yourself with the help of your email ID, have scanned copies of all your documents, your signature, your photograph, upload them and apply. Next. This is the portal of our scholarship scheme. You can uh, Visit this website A to A. Uh, A to A is uh, admission to alumni. Scholarships.iccr.gov.in. ICCR is Indian Council for Cultural Relations. This is our uh, cultural body under our Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which uh, governs, which administers this uh, these scholarship laws. After you have applied. 
If you have any doubt by the time if you found any difficulty, you face any difficulty, or if you have any doubt, or if you need any additional information, uh, you can contact me on this email ID, or you can call me. Alternatively, you can call my Guru Mr. Chancho, uh, so that you can speak in private and feel more comfortable. And then you can apply. After your application, we will shortlist the application on the basis of uh, academic record, your performance in last years in the qualifying degree. Then you will be called for a written test in English. English written test is not to uh, is just to make sure that you have the uh, understanding of English of the level that you are able to pursue your education in English medium. That's the only objective of conducting the English test. It's not to disqualify anybody, but to make sure that okay, once you are in India, you have taken admission, you are able to understand, you are able to pursue your education. And uh, because of the language only, because of that, because of the medium of English, uh, you are not able to pursue your education and you are, uh, you are compelled. You yourself are compelled to come back to Cambodia. So this does not happen just to make sure that uh, uh, you have the required knowledge of uh, English, we conduct the English test. That's the only purpose. And interview will be conducted there. Then we forward uh, applications to India, and we receive approval in the month of June or July. And then we issue ticket, and you, you are advised to go to India, to, to report in the university or college, and then you are accommodated there, admitted in the college, and you start your English. One thing you have to keep in mind, I don't think anybody is below 18 years of, uh, of age here, but below 18 years and above 30, 30 years of age, students are not allowed to uh, apply in this college. This has been included this year only. Earlier this was not the condition. Generally, minimum age is not, uh, not an issue in India. Even I completed my high school at 12th and all these degrees at a very young age. But the reason behind this is that uh, below 18 years of age, you cannot open account in India, in a bank. And it's very difficult to how to transfer money, uh, the uh, living allowance. And your, so because of these practical difficulties generally, we discussed that students below 18 years of age don't apply for this course. And I'm sure here nobody is below 18 years. Anybody below 18 years? I don't think anyone. Okay, next please. Decision will be taken by the university. The Embassy of India has no role in admission. We only forward applications to the university. And university will decide depending on, on the basis of your performance in the qualifying uh, And once we receive uh, confirmation that okay, he has been given admission in this college, we will give it to the student. The student will come to the embassy. And then we will arrange, we will issue visa, tickets and all these things for him or her to proceed to India. Types of scholarship, we have three categories of scholarships. The first one is uh, Mekong Dhanda cooperation. This is for Mekong region only, some countries in this region only. For Cambodia, we have ten uh, scholarship slots. Under this scheme, we are, you are given tuition fee, like you don't need to pay, you are given living allowance, I will come to living allowance later. You will be given books or book allowance, like material to, to study. Uh, accommodation allowance is no more uh, relevant because uh, invariably, certainly you will be given accommodation. You will get hostel there. So accommodation allowance is not no more relevant now. Instead, you are getting accommodation. Medical expenses, if you have a minor problem like cough, cold, and if you have to visit a doctor, then all that expenses will be borne by university, college. But one thing I want to let you know that the, nobody, the students should not have a, a chronic problem, like a medical uh, situation, condition, that is ongoing. One should not have that sort of problem. For that, we need a medical certificate. When you apply, and you will see that there is an application and you will have to get it completed by a doctor and submit it. 
So once you don't have chronic problem, this is ongoing. But okay, routine illness like sickness, fever, cold, and all these things okay, that will be taken care of. If the university is, uh, uh, you need not worry if you think that uh, you want to take admission in, in this in a particular university, but you uh, discover that the university is in a far from area, in, in a remote area, or not in a big city where there is a port. So you may think, okay, it's far from the main city like Delhi or like uh, Chennai or, or Hyderabad. No, no need to worry. Majority big cities are already have their ports and we will provide you will see ticket up to the nearest airport. But in case you opt for a university where there is no airport, no need to worry. You will be going up to the nearest airport, then you will be given a uh, train ticket for AC class, for air condition. Train ticket will be provided to you to reach to the uh, city of the university. This GC, as a, basically this is not very relevant to the students. We will try that uh, all of you are covered, students who apply for the scholarship are covered under the GC. We make every effort that we issue our tickets to them to reach to India and after completion of the studies come back to uh, Cambodia. But under this scheme we don't provide air ticket. All other facilities are provided like living allowance, tuition fee, book allowance, accommodation, medical, all these things are provided. The only difference is that under this scheme, we don't provide air ticket. At your own expenditure, you have to go to India by purchasing one day air ticket and then come back to Cambodia. But this is not very important factor in my view. Because if you are going for two year study or three year or four year study, and if you need to spend $300 or $200, $300 to go and come back after three years, it's not a big issue. But as I told you, we try that air tickets are provided to all students who are selected. That will be our effort. In any case, 10 initial students, 10 top students will be given. And later we try that, okay, in this category also we issue air tickets. So this is not a big issue. The only difference I wanted to let you know that this is the difference between these two schemes. Otherwise, the, the difference is only that of the name of the two, two schemes. Otherwise, there is no difference. And you will be applying for, not for a particular scheme. It is embassy or university, ICCR, who will suggest that, okay, the student is being admitted under this scheme. And this will be our endeavor, our effort, that you are covered under MGC scheme. That is, you are providing an Next. Cultural exchange program, all facilities are same like GCSS. We have two slots for cultural uh, courses if somebody is interested. One can apply and then we cover his or her name under this school. Next please. Okay, this is separate uh, scholarship from Alanda University. In the very beginning, I told you that we have revived our old Nalanda University. This is uh, at the same place, like we had our old uh, university during four century and later. Just little away, like around 50 kilometers from the from the main old site of our Nalanda University. And we have uh, three schools of uh, higher studies there: historic studies, school of ecology and environmental studies and school of Buddhist studies, philosophy and operating religion. Cambodia being a Buddhist country, I believe many of you may have interest in studying Buddhism. So this provides a very good opportunity. If you are interested in learning Buddhist studies, philosophy and comparative religion or ecology or historic studies, you have this option at the But this we uh, announce later, university will let us know. Uh, when they uh, start admission and then we uh, publish on our Facebook website and we invite the application for this course. Next show. Living allowance for 
ICCR uh, living allowance for uh, for the scholarship that we were discussing. Living allowance has been increased last year. This is my understanding that because of low amount of living allowance till last year, not till last year, before one year, even before two years. Uh, last year we increased the living allowance for uh, all the all degrees for undergraduate that is bachelor. Now this is eighteen thousand rupees. This is in rupees, and in dollar it will be close to two hundred eighty to three hundred dollars. For postgraduate the amount is now twenty thousand rupees. For PhD MPhil twenty two thousand and postdoctoral twenty five thousand rupees. So this is the living allowance. That is just to spend on your food. All other things are already covered, like book allowance, tuition fee, accommodation, everything is there. This amount is being given to you just to spend on your on your food. And this amount is uh, even even for the Indian, this is very good amount for a student, Indian student. This is quite a good amount, huge amount. And out of this eighteen thousand rupees. <coughs> I am sure if you live comfortably, if you have all the food that you want to have every day, you can still uh, still save some some money, some amount, so that you are in a position to travel at your own expenses to to Cambodia and go back during holidays, during festivals. So this is the uh, best thing today that I have to uh, tell you that I need to highlight. You don't need to worry. You will not even uh, you will not require to spend even a rupee, even a dollar. On your stay in India, whatever you are being given, you will be able to save half of them, I believe. And uh, house rent allowance, as I told you earlier, when uh, some universities who uh, which don't had uh, hostel, if they are not able to provide accommodation, uh, they uh, this amount will be paid to you to to hire a room outside out of the university. But now this is no more relevant. Because under the scholarship scheme, if you are going to India and university, you will be given a room. You will provide a hostel. So this uh, allowance is not very relevant. For CLMB, living allowance is uh, less, around seventy-five dollar only. For Nalanda, this you need to keep in mind that for under ICCR scholarship scheme for twenty-five slots, under Bengaluru cooperation scheme. This is the scholar. Uh, this is the living allowance: eighteen thousand, twenty thousand, twenty-two thousand, and twenty-five thousand. But for CMT for Nalanda, the amount is still the same, the old one. So I think this is the reason that uh, you need not worry that how you will manage whether life will be comfortable. There is no issue on this account. You can comfortably be in India, have good good time, good life, good living, with quality education. You can save some amount. You can travel to Cambodia during your holidays and go back. Next please. For any information. You can contact uh, Embassy of India in Phnom Penh. I am based here. With me is Mr. Chunchor. He studied in India. He has a ground. He he has the ground. Uh, he is aware of the ground realities. He has the experience of being in India. And uh, you can contact him if you want to communicate with him. Now I will ask him, Mr. Chow, to come and share his experience in Khmer language so that you you are uh, able to understand properly. If you have any question, you want to ask in English, you can ask him. If you want to ask in Khmer, you can after he speaks, you can ask in Khmer. Any question, anybody? No, if you don't ask any question, then I I think I will believe that I have not been able to communicate properly. Any doubt? Any question? Any additional information or anything? Any? Uh, 
mặt trong tìm đọc của bài hai mươi lăm tìm sáng sớm hai mươi bàn kỳ mặt hai trong mặt 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 trong mình lấy tha ăn ăn miếng sầu nước cứ để ăn tới khi làm tập ăn miếng quỷ thì muối ăn vô đây sọt thì phi vô ăn hết ăn miếng sầu nước Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn 
university. Yes, we have this tab, universities list. So the state universities, as I told you, run by university, uh, states. Central university, this hardly makes any difference for you. This is only for the purpose of administration, this division, whether it's the university, state or central. That is only an administrative issue concerned with the running of them. For you, there should not be any difference between these two universities. Quality of education is almost the same. For engineering, you can see NITs. For the IVAD courses, there are many other related courses. You can see this IUS. And IFTs and Guru Parampara is something else for cultural. So basically, these three are of relevance state university, central university, and I. So if we click on central university, let us see what happens. These are the list of central universities. So as I told you, around 20 and almost all of them are here. Almost all universities are covered. So you can uh, then click on the university and you will be. Uh, yes. So better let us go back to ICC. Yeah? So these are the universities. Banaras Hindu University, where Mr. Mishwan is studied. Then we have uh, Assam, Rajasthan, this uh, Guru Hasidas, very important university, Jamia Milia in Delhi, Mizoram, Nagaland. These are in the north, northeastern part of India. Yeah. That is the yeah, that is very uh, university uh, specialized in the agriculture. And we have uh, Cambodian students who study here. Yeah, they got uh, qualification, and uh, one of them now is very high, uh, hold a high position in rural development. Uh, he's from uh, Pune and uh, Mysore. So these two universities are uh, very good at agriculture and forestry. Uh, Night time they pray in the hand cut down the thing cut up the bottom of the uh it's up more than half an hour my party in the field smart code is up uh at the time is up to come here and here. Uh what we all cut cards soon and what uh now the rain of India but you don't come to the car for I think somehow more talking so after you have listed university, you have the information about the information about the university of the information that you require. Then you can go back to ICCR portal home page. So briefly I will explain them how to how to register and how to apply. When you open this is policy uh, portal, first step is to register yourself. With the help of this link, application register, you have to fill all the details, give your email, password, new password of course, not that of the email, so that you can log in later with the help of then you get a link on your email and you can again log in. After you have logged in, then after you have logged in, then you can apply. You have to fill all the details and you have to upload all the documents and so on. And even signature, I think you have to let it scan. Sign, scan, and keep it. Signature, your photograph, and all the documents. After login, you can apply. You can select three universities, three courses. Uh, you have the option, I mean, you can select three universities. And three courses also, if you have. Or same course, three universities. And you should be prepared that you may get admission in one of the three universities. Not necessarily the first one. You may get in the first one, you may get the second option, or you may get the third option. Yes, I think uh, now they are completely here. Yes. Oh, the four more here, uh, more four, I don't know, more here, like, but. 
Yes. 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 Yes.
khi áo dựng mùa gì? Cái chất mở bộ thì bên này dựng tới thì ai cũng thua cao cao mong bạn Hoặc bên này dựng tới Nếu dùng một tí ấy, dựng hiếp Dựng hiếp trong mặt sự con như thế Dựng hiếp trong mặt sự con như thế Dựng hiếp trong mặt sự con như thế Dựng hiếp trong mặt sự con Cái này dựng hiếp trong mặt sự con Chẳng bên này thay đổi dựng hiếp trong mặt sự vì chớ phê, nên lúc kia hiến thẳng hiến sẽ của hiến đó Thế chỉ lắm cho anh mơ, cho phí, cho viên lại ấy ạ Rồi vừa nhìn đơn viết, nên lúc kia hiến thẳng hiến đơn viết thì ẩn Thì ẩn sẽ có đúng lại gì, để hiến phí, phê, cho viên lại Màu cũng là viên đầu mùi, cho người ta Ở nhà viên đầu mùi Ờ, thế chạy Ờ, ở các con viên chạy chạy mơ Tôi quay trên cái ốc vô thông phố này, cái đó con ta nó biết để dương gặp lại, nó nói dương tổng biến này là dương trong mình khó và lệch thơ dương biến này trong trọng Mẹ chắc là đặc biệt thơ Chắc là khó và lệch thơ được rồi, nó biết để dương đặc biệt thơ Còn mưa khó và lệch thơ thì ta có dương chạy như thế này Lương lây dương xong bằng kia là xe ở dương đi Hãy nói kiên tâm là nó Cứ dương 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 tổng cả Hay án tay hồng đến lúc Biết, cứ ót khó khó nó còn thế Bộ bà, sạm như tức đầm này Nhưng mẹ còn lại chứ còn thế hồng lên tí cứ phải chạm tục cho chị một cái trái tim của anh ấy hay muốn biết riết cũng cần từ mà cũng cần được cái cảm nhận này nông đi tu bay master ra cái phun thang này nhóm đi master tu bay rất chốn bằng trăm nghìn chén mà đó là cái tên mặt này hai dương là đi master là đi đi về đi tai và hai tai thì dương là đi hai cấp tôi chọn phải bắt tay nông đi master cũng cao tầm bảy trăm nghìn cấp mao đó mao là bảy nhà bạc Chúng cứ ôm những phê từ rút tập hương cao thật hay sử dụng tập hương đầy bạc này Hả đó cũng bị thật hẹp rồi thật hẹp Sự mẹ ôm lễ tôi bây giờ chẳng bộ ngộ mà thấy những chú ôm tấu Tấu đó là ông, tấu đó là rễ Ờ, sorry Tấu đó là rễ, tấu đó là rễ Giảm viên mà chẳng nắp đi chẳng nắp đi chẳng ai cũng muốn ai đấy Lễ cứ tự xê Sẽ ai cái đó cứ ôm lễ hay mình bên tự xê dương là đi bỏ lo để chốt mẹ này Nó bị ở thế Tua con này nông đĩa chú ông này chú còn mới nông đĩa mình thơm bí máu mà thấy chẳng hãy nó có bảo phẩy của con này nhưng mà này bảo sát này dưới 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 cứ dưới bảo sát này chắc là A là riêng của này chứ cứ dưới bảo sát này chứ cứ dưới bảo sát này dưới bảo sát này dưới bảo sát này dưới bảo sát này ก็ตั้งเดียกระนาดหนักเกียรติเรียนสุดเอาอย่างเงี้ยเงี้ยบอกเรียนบอกไปสาวเรื่องอ่าไอเดียแต่ผู้ชายเรื่องก็ต่อ
đầu đầy là tụ thì tới hay dương máu của bạn mình máu của bạn khả năng bị dương chuột dương chuột mà to mạnh máu của bạn này mà sao dương dương máu kia chân kinh của mình hoàn hảo bởi dương chuột được không được nóng đọt nét của bộ Thế tôi mình ở phía hôm thì tôi đã làm dự án để dùng dây rồi các các dùng ảnh quật luôn bắn có riêng trong bạch lơ nơi ôi sáng hỏi về trong bạch lơ và đặc biệt xong do scholarship riêng do master đang vui lên bản trình là nó là bài của mình thứ kia là anh đã programs to uh, invite uh, students uh, from Cambodia to India uh, to undergo cultural skills like in the field of culture if you want to uh, pursue some courses some cultural sort of courses like music singing like this and even under this now we have another scheme Guru Sishya Parampara it's very ancient tradition of India uh, under which anybody can apply who are interested in music or certain these things then you can study those courses those musical instruments or singing or these things under our old tradition we used to have Guru Sishya Parampara like to start we used to watch that is very old tradition like thousands of years old so there will be a Guru like teacher and there will be a devoted student and the devoted student will be getting education under that, that guru. The way mostly we conduct PhDs under one uh, instructor, teacher, professor, student uh, carries forward with, uh, with his uh, research. So it's that, under cultural exchange program, this is what we do. But as I told you, you can apply under guru if you have uh, inclination or interest for any such courses. So if you have interest in uh, like instrumental singing, dancing, like this first example, let us see Guru Miss Jayalakshmi Ishwar. She is the teacher for Bharatnatyam. So under her you will be learning like Bharatnatyam dance if anybody is interested. Similarly, this is art institution Gandharva Mahavidyala for Hindustani classical music, like vocal classical music. <laughs> Kalashetra Foundation vocal, Veena is Indian instrument, violin, flute is Indian instrument, Badangam and Bharatnatyam dance. These are instruments and that is dance, Bharatnatyam. So if anybody is interested in these sort of courses, you can apply directly under Guru. You need not be concerned about CEP or, or uh, that uh, scholarship. You can straight away apply under, under these groups for individual, uh, particular course and particular guru you can apply or for particular institution. Okay, well, I mean, the way
half of the university and only half of the CSS. I would like to once again express our uh, appreciation for your time, for your time and for your uh, endeavor to share with our youngster, our students, our knowledge of the Indian culture as well as the offering, uh, offering scholarship of, uh, by the government of India to Cambodian uh, students as the uh, valuable contribution to our development, our social, social, social development and economic, uh, economic uh, development of uh, Cambodia. Uh, we make it as our tradition every year on the same month, even though different days, but uh, we make it as a tradition and uh, we always keep this room uh, free for you. Uh, Any time that uh, you feel the, to share of the cultural knowledge or philosophy or anything we have done so far on the uh, principle of non-violent of energy by uh, the lady of uh, yeah. And then uh, we are also working on the uh, yoga classes. And uh, I hope uh, some of you will join the yoga class again. We are going to uh, open the new uh, and new uh, class yoga. You know, in in this. Uh, previously, we were uh, we organized yoga class in the early morning, but because of some of the uh, students uh, stay far away, it's difficult for them to come in the early morning. So this time, we were thinking of uh, opening new classes in the evening, so that it allows students to to join the uh, class for free. Anyway, uh, thank you very much. And uh, to finish, uh, we have a token of uh, souvenir for you. And then uh, after that, we will have a photographic uh, photograph event. It's a photo opportunity for you and uh, all the students. Thank you.